Hey there. So this week's project um, is going to center around engineers. And I want to introduce you to one of my favorite um, engineers and YouTube personalities. Um, and hopefully you will be inspired by some of the work that he does and you will be able to come up with uh, something very cool on your own. Um, as we're going through and learning about engineers and you get to meet this engineer uh, through his videos and see the cool things that he's made, I want us to be thinking um, really specifically about the engineering design process. And you have probably heard me talk about it from, from our STEAM lab um, and from previous activities this year. The engineering design process is just that step-by-step -step way to go about a, uh, solve a problem or to create something. Okay, so it just sort of helps um, organize what it is that you are going to make um, or um, walk through the problem that you're going to solve. Okay. So what is an engineer? If we're talking about engineers, what is an engineer? Well, an engineer is uh, somebody who creatively solves problems, right? They design or build something, and it really could be anything. It could be a machine like a car, or it could be um, a building like a school, right? So somebody who creatively comes up with something new or solves a problem, all right? Um, a perfect example, and this, this uh, engineer that I've been talking about, uh, Mark Rover. Many of you might know him because he is now a big YouTube personality, um, but he did start out uh, working for places like Apple, you know, like your computers and phones. Um, and he also worked for NASA, you know, the people who send the rockets to the moon. Um, in fact, the Mars Curiosity rover, which is um, a, a robot that I often refer to when we're talking about robotics, um, He was, or he was part of the team that, that designed and built that, and that rover is still on Mars today, um, taking samples and pictures and sending information back to Earth. So he's done some really incredibly cool things. Um, and I think the way he thinks through things and the ideas he comes up with uh, are super interesting. And I think they will help you uh, to sort of start to see how the engineering design process can be helpful. Okay. I realize that there is a lot in this folder for this week and I don't want you to feel overwhelmed and I don't want you to have to do everything, but I just wanted to give you as much information and as much stuff as I could. Um, and as long as you get through some of it, uh, that's fine with me. So for example, I have a, a TEDx talk, um, which is just kind of a, like a 15 minute uh, lecture that Mark Rober did and it's titled how to come up with good ideas and I thought that was kind of perfect for what we do we're always coming up with with ideas and talking about how important that is um, so give that a listen if you have a few minutes um, I think it's absolutely worth listening to um, and then I want you to go to his YouTube channel so the link for his YouTube channel will also be in this folder um, I want you to watch at least one video Okay. I have a feeling you'll probably want to watch more, but I want you to at least watch one. Um, there is an egg drop one that's very cool. There is um, the one where they, they planted 20 million trees, or that was their goal. Um, he did that with Mr. Beast, so if you know YouTube. Um, and then my personal favorite, over the summer, he built... Um, a ninja warrior obstacle course for the squirrels in his backyard. So really crazy stuff, right? Um, but a lot of fun. So I want you to check out at least one of those videos. Okay. So while you're watching those videos, okay, or at least one of them, I want you to have this document out. Okay. That's going to be posted in this folder as well. I'm going to talk you through it right now. Okay, in case anyone has any trouble reading or, or needs, just needs help, right? So the goal here is to lay out the engineering design process. So that's what it is, right? It's kind of a circle because we're kind of always working through it. And this should look familiar because this is the exact same, um, uh, the magnets that I have in the STEAM lab. These are the exact same, an image of the exact same thing, okay? All right, so what I want you to do is watch a video on Mark Rober's channel. 
as you're watching, I want you to pay close, close attention to the uh, questions that I have written out below, okay? And I want you to think about how Mark uses the design process to help him create new and awesome things, okay? So here it is. The first step is to ask. What does that mean? It means um, asking a question, like what is the problem that you're trying to solve? Why is he doing what he's doing, right? Why is he trying to make the thing that he's trying to make, okay? Second is imagine, imagine all the possibilities or brainstorm, right? Come up with as many ideas as possible. Um, what are some of, can you identify some of the uh, ideas that he had or the different ideas that he might have come up with um, before he actually made whatever he made? I think the, uh, the Ninja Warrior Squirrel course would be a good one for that one in particular. Plan. Uh, he comes up with a plan. You have to come up with a plan. You got to list your materials. You have to draw out your idea. Um, so can you identify um, where he did that? Okay. Create. That's the fun part. You got to watch him make it, right? Um, how was it actually made? What did he have to use or do? Did he use um, certain tools? Did he use certain materials? Where was it made? How was it used? Okay. Um, and then lastly, improve. So that means you've made it and now you're going to test it out and you're going to see how it works. Okay. And there's a lot of times in his videos where things don't go the way they're supposed to go. Right. And so how did he um, try it out, fail or not work the way it was supposed to, and then fix it to see, to, to make it better. Okay. So I know there's a, that I, there's at least one example in every one of his videos. So when it was tested, did it work perfectly or did it need some work? So what needed to be improved? Can you identify any, any of the improvements that he had to make? Okay. So this is just a way for us to practice going through the engineering design process um, by actually looking at someone else using it um, and kind of identifying the different steps that you see uh, happening. Okay. And I'm hoping that um, it's a little bit of fun too because I always enjoy watching his videos. So, um, so check it out. We want to learn about what is an engineer and how do they work. We want to look at the process that engineers use, that design process. Uh, I want you to learn a little bit about Mark Rober, and I want you to think about um, how he approaches problems, uh, kind of how he thinks through things, okay? Um, and I want you yourself to get comfortable with the design process, okay? I hope that you'll be inspired to make something as well. So the second part of this project, in addition to following through the engineering design process um, while watching Mark Rober's videos, um, I want you to, I'm hoping that you're inspired by something that, that, uh, that he does, right? And that you might want to make something similar. Um, if not, however, um, I can give you some, some ideas myself on something that you could make. What I want you to do, um, is take, try yourself. I want you to try your hand at using the design process to create something. Now, we don't all have access to the stuff that Mark Rober has, right? Of course. So I don't, I'm not expecting perfection in any way, shape or form. And if you don't have any materials, I mean, paper and tape and scissors, really, that would be, that. that's kind of all you'd need. Or if you need to just draw it out, um, that's fine too, right? You can at least work through the first four uh, steps of the process, okay? Um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for you to design and build a model um, or a prototype. It's a prototype. Prototype, it's a model of something, right? Um, so if, let's say, you're going to design and build a car, well, you're not going to just build the car, right? You're going to build a model of it first so that you can show people what you are thinking of, okay? So I have here a model of the Eiffel Tower. I don't have the real thing. It's a model. It's a small version of it, okay? Yes, this is Legos. If you have Legos or blocks, you could use those to build your model. That's fine. Um, but it doesn't have to be perfect or pretty. For example, I'm going to show you a model of something that I made. Okay, this is um, a, a lamp, a model of a lamp. And so, yes, I did 
uh, light it. I do have a, a little thing of lights running through it. Okay, it is made out of cardboard. You can tell that uh, that that it's kind of messy, right? You can see the glue. You can see the tape. Okay, but I think you guys can look at it and see what I was trying to do, right? So again design and build a model of something that you find interesting, okay? Or that you want to make. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can use paper, tape, and scissors. You can use cardboard. Uh, if you have Legos laying around, beautiful. You can use whatever you have around. Be creative, okay? Um, and if you don't have anything, that's okay too. You can just, you can draw it and share it with me, okay? Um, if you are not inspired by any one particular thing from the video, um, I can give you some ideas, right? You could um, design and build a model of a bike or a car or let's see, furniture. Maybe you can design and build a chair or like I did with my lamp, okay? How about a house or any other kind of building or a bridge? or the model of a, a particular robot, or um, kind of look around your house, you know, look around outside, see if there's anything out there that you would like to improve upon, make better, make different, um, and go with that, okay? Um, really, I want you to have fun, right? So make something cool and be proud of it. And then go ahead and share it with me in that blue assessment piece. Uh, at the bottom of this folder, okay? So you'll have the opportunity to either send me a picture and or a video. So if you need to explain anything, you have that opportunity to do that, okay? All right, happy building, and I can't wait to see what you come up with.